Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be sharing how to remove these stickers off of different types of containers. So I have some plastic containers and then as well as some glass jars over here and it's very simple and easy. I know sometimes it can get um, finicky whenever you're trying to reuse these containers and you're trying to take off the sticker and then it just leaves a nasty trail behind of stickiness or paper residue or whatever. So today I will teach you just how to avoid all of that and easily remove these labels. All right, so before we begin, let me talk to you guys a little bit about the different types of labels that you can find on your containers. Some containers have more of a paper type of label on them, whereas others like these have a silkier, more glossy, thicker material. And usually whenever you have anything that's belongs like in the fridge or that can easily have condensation on it then you would find the more weatherproof labels on them because the company doesn't want their labels all ruined when you go to put these products in the fridge or take them out and then they condense so that's why these have these type of labels whereas something that you would keep more so in the pantry like this has more of a paper texture to it so they tend to be a little bit more difficult to remove but i will share a little trick that works even with this paper material and now that you guys know a little fun fact about all these different labels and containers let's bring these over to the sink so that we can get started on them and you will want all of the containers to be cleaned out because you will have to fill them up so these are all emptied out they're just not clean so i will get to cleaning these and then this has already gone bad so i'm just going to spill this out and probably drink the rest of this this one also still has some um, pepper left in here but i still want to use this so i will just pour it out and save it so i can put it back in there after i show you guys how to remove the labels <music> Ideally, while you're doing this, you want to try and not get the labels wet, especially if they're paper. Um, I actually got this one wet, so it might not be as easy to remove, but we can still take it off. But yeah, just a little FYI, if you're gonna do this, try and clean these beforehand and just let the label dry, or if you can, try to clean it without getting the label wet at all. My containers are now cleaned, so next thing I want to do is fill them up with some hot water, specifically trying to concentrate it on um, having it fill up either all the way up to the label, or if I wanna fill it to where I can place it on its side and then that water is directly where the label would be. So for this one, I'm going to flip it on its side or on its um, bottom here like this so that the water is on the label. And then you will want to just let them sit here for a few minutes so that all of the heat from the water can kind of melt away the stickiness of the labels and make it easier to remove. The water has now been sitting in the containers for a few minutes. So first let's start off with this one. Let me just put the top on. So don't spill out the water so now we're going to simply start at a corner of the stickers and you can simply just use your fingernail to peel it off and you see how easy that's pulling off and again these are the waterproof labels so this is just gonna come right off clean no residue left behind very easy I will repeat the same process with the back sticker just peel from a corner and voila, there you go, a clean container. And again, this is one of the easier ones because of the type of label that it has. Stick around till the end of this video and I will also share how to remove this imprint on here so that you don't have to see the date on here. And now let's move on to the next container. And this one actually, even though it's one of those easy to peel off stickers, it also seems to only be attached here at the seam. So this is about as much as we're probably going to have to deal with. Yeah, as you can see there, there's nothing else um, sticking to it from the other side. This is all you had to do. So and just peel that right off. But this one did leave a little bit of a residue. I'm not sure if you guys can tell right about there. And we will come back and remove all of that. But let's get to peeling off the rest of the labels first. Next up, I have the peanut butter one. And I actually got the label a little wet and this is more of the paper type of label so it might be a little harder to remove but don't worry we'll start off again from the 
corner and simply try to peel and as you can tell there it's leaving more of a paper residue on there and again a lot of that has to do with the fact that I wasn't careful enough and I got the label wet prior to doing this so if you clean them out just try to avoid getting them wet on the outside that way it's an easier removal and then once you got the label off you can go back and clean it on the outside so going back to the corner and just trying to peel it off as much as I can and then all of this will come back and I'll show you guys how to get rid of the rest of that. And while I finish peeling off this label, if you are new here, I would love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button. I have a lot of other cleaning motivation videos as well as lots of tips and tricks for cleaning, things that I have seen online that I will be testing out or things that I have just learned over the years as far as um, making cleaning easier and more effective. So if you're interested in any of that, then please consider hitting the red subscribe button. Okay, so that's as much as I can get off easily like that. And we will remove the rest. I can kind of peel off a little bit more by rubbing on it, but there's an easier method than that. So we'll come back to that. Last but not least, I have the other container and this is the last plastic one. So trying to keep it on its bottom but also show you guys here and take it from one of the corners just try to pick that up get a good grip on it and pull in a diagonal manner this makes it a little bit easier to do and there you have it and again no residue left behind because this was one of the thicker type of stickers let me just show you guys real quick the aftermath of the stickers here you can see the paper one is all torn apart and then these are fully intact these more plasticky ones now on to our glass container the first glass container also with that more of a paper type of label i also got this one wet so just keep that in mind again and i'm using and i'm starting again in the corner and just simply trying to peel this off if it rips it's no problem just continue and try to get as much of it off as you can and anything left behind will come back to and now for the glass um, hot sauce bottle this one also has one of the thicker labels so just peeling again from the corner and actually this might have been a little bit more paper ish if that's a word <laughs> excuse my language but kind of tore right here so i'm coming in from this other corner trying to lift it up so not as thick of a material and easy to do as the other two um, bottles for the lemonade and the eggnog but also not as bad as the uh, peanut butter and jelly so to remove the leftover paper and stickiness on the bottles we will take some baking soda a little dish and then some oil of your choice you can use vegetable oil um, olive oil canola oil whatever kind of oil you have on hand and we will be mixing both of these in this bowl equal parts um, to make sort of a paste that we will lather on to those and then try to remove the residue from there and this is not an exact science you really just want to make a paste so as long as you get that consistency then you're good to go and this looks just about done so you want to look for a consistency where it's not too runny but it's also not thick so here you can see it easily falls from the little scoop so this is good enough and now we're going to take this paste and lather it on these labels sort of giving these bottles a facial mask or exfoliation whatever you guys want to call it but we want to make sure that we are able to cover all of the label or stickiness that was left behind let's move over to the sink so we don't make a disaster and i'm just going to work in sections and you really just want to try and rub this in the oil is going to help um, break up that paper and then the baking soda is acting as like an exfoliator so it will also help remove all of that gunk 
so just spread it all around note that i still have the warm water inside of the bottles because that will also help break down the labels so we'll just leave that there while i continue to lather on the rest of the bottles Okay, so now that they are all lathered up, you simply want to continue with the rubbing process until you feel that there is no residue left behind. And you can also just kind of use your fingernails if you want and scratch the surface a little. Can you guys see that residue right there? And I think this bottle is good to go. I just need to wash it down. But all of the residue is removed. And there you guys have it. Every single one of these has been cleaned out. There's no sticky residue left on here. If I wanted to print my own labels or just use them as such, I could definitely use that. And just look how pretty this one looks now. I can reuse that in the pantry maybe. This one I can probably use like in the laundry room with some detergent or something and a nice cute label on here. And now let me share how to remove this very simple all you need is a piece of paper towel or a cotton ball of some sort some rubbing alcohol or in this case i have some germix right here handy underneath the sink so i'm just going to pump a little bit on here and then i'm simply going to take that blob there over the label and just swirl it and just like that, it's gone. You can see all the ink is on the paper towel. Just clean that right off. And it's as if nothing was ever there. Nice and cleaned. Let me do that again. This one doesn't have one. Um, yeah, this one has it over here. So same process, get some Germix and just wipe it right off. Here it is. And we are all done here. So if you guys are ever in need of recycling one of these, upcycling, reusing them, repurposing them, whatever the case may be, it does not matter whether you have a plastic container or you have a glass container, whether you have a paper sticker on there or one of the more weather resistant, easier to peel off stickers, you can get them all off using the method I just showed you guys. It might take a little bit more work with the paper there. So just keep in mind, try to not get it wet. That will help out a ton. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like if you did subscribe if you are new and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys